guys, we are doing another makeup breakup. Yes! Today we are destroying the Guerlain Meteorites. Yeah. So these are, do you want to open it up? Yeah. These are essentially very expensive. Nice pa packaging. Oh, the packaging is so pretty. Um, they're essentially, it's, cool. it's basically face powder in little balls. I'm sure most of you know what these are. Um, you just pop your brush in there, swirl it around and apply it. Now, it sounds cool. It does. Guerlain also has this in a pressed form. Yeah. And um, they have a super duper expensive. A super fancy version. Yeah. So this one was 85 Australian, 84, dollars, 84 yeah. Australian dollars and there's 25 grams of product in there. And does this mean that kids aren't allowed to yep. use it? Don't. No no, kids, kids, no little warning. No babies. No babies, not for the babies. Now, so the pressed version of this is the same price for 10 grams of product, mm -hmm. and the super duper expensive one is 216 Australian dollars for, for 11 grams of product. 11 grams. We think it's a fancy compact, but yeah. They're expensive. This is definitely the best value for money yep. because you get the 25 grams for the $84. Okay, so essentially this is just a face powder. It's supposed to be an illuminating face powder, so yeah. it's got a bit of like shimmer to it. But the gimmick of it is that each of these different balls um, have a different color correcting purpose. So for example, the green, it reduces redness. The purple brightens the skin. Yeah, pink is good for under the eyes. Yeah, so yeah. all that kind of stuff. So we want to know not only if this contains 25 grams of product, um, but also what this looks like if you blend it all together and press it in a pan Is it just going to look like a boring beige powder? Yeah Because at the end of the day when you use this product um, You're not pulling out all of the individual colors to like you don't scoop out the green balls and then mm -hmm. dust your brush in them And then apply them to the yeah, redness. where the red is yeah. you you stick your brush in you swirl it around and then you dust it mm -hmm. over your face so yeah. for me the color correcting thing is just like yeah, whatever. Once again, I think it's just one of those makeup products that looks pretty and yeah, people are willing to I spend totally the money agree. because it looks cool. And personally, yeah. I have nothing against yeah. really pretty makeup products. Mm -hmm. I own some myself and I use them and I'm like, well, it makes me feel good. It's yeah, about the experience. It's about the experience, yeah. exactly. But we want to see what happens when we essentially make this one color. Yes, correct. And also, one thing that people need to realize as well is any skin toned product contains various colors so yeah. um green yeah, yellow if you, pink, yeah purple. if you learn art um and you paint for example to create a flesh tone color there's always a bit of green there's always a bit of yellow yeah you know pink. it's a it's a wide combination of yeah. colors so yeah. i do think this is just going to end up being a boring beige yeah yeah, I think it's going to be a very light color because it does have the white balls in yeah. there as well. This but is this is the light shade as well. It is. So it comes yeah. in light, medium, and deep. deep I believe yeah. and we got the light one because that's like the one that everyone recognizes. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, they really. Do. Oh, that's disgusting! I hate that. That is that's, so grandma. Yeah, that's bad. So these are actually supposed to smell like violets and. I don't like the smell of violets, I've learned. <laughs> I, yeah, see, I like actual violets. Mm. I like the plant, but I don't like it in my makeup. No thanks. No. So let's go, let's, let's do go it. do it. Okay, so we're going to weigh these before we grind them up and repress them. So we've zeroed the scales. <sighs> really? Okay, so we're... A gram short, so these scales are an estimate anyway. They don't do precise yes. um, yeah. weight. So it is close enough and for like consumer laws anyway, 24 grams would is, meet the requirement yeah, anyway. Would. I don't know if you can see in there as well. You can tell that the powder mixed together is just a boring beige color. So mm -hmm. it's kind of grayish. Yeah. Yeah. So here we have a coffee grinder and our little balls. We're going to lose a bit of product in this, but yeah, we um, will. That's it's fine. all for the experiment. Yeah. So 
this is the ground up powder. It's just a really light pinky beige color. All right, so we're gonna mix it up in here with isopropyl alcohol and press it in the original container. like this purpley beige like a grayish color it's yeah it sounds um, I don't know it's not very appealing no it's pretty ugly oh it's like putty yeah yeah it's pretty it's like the blob that, monster you know what that is that's corn flour Ah. Yeah, I bet ya, if we look at the ingredients, that's gonna be corn flour. Yeah, look at that. It self levels. That's corn flour. That's what you're paying for. Yeah. Fucking corn flour. So, dye starch is phosphate a fancy, is a, a, fancy, a fancy name for cornstarch. Yeah. So, but guys, it does have diamond powder in it. So, you can see the wiggle there. Um, we, we can't press this. There's too much fluid in it. And it's kind of because of the cornstarch, when you add fluid to it and you're mixing it, it looks like there's less fluid in it than there actually is. If you've ever played with like corn flour and water, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So now that this has had time to settle, like we're seeing that we did add too much liquid to it. So we're just going to have to let that set. Look at it. It's like putty. So essentially you're paying a lot of money for talc, cornstarch and diamond, diamond powder. powder. So, let's, let's do it. Oh, it doesn't feel right. It feels like, it feels like a stack of jelly. Oh. No, you can see all the fluid coming to the top. So if this was like, if this was a Maybelline powder and I was pressing it, like repressing it because it broke, I wouldn't be surprised because it's a Maybelline powder. But this is Guerlain. Yeah, it's very expensive. It's expensive shit. Well, cornflour and talc, that's very disappointing that, that that's what you get. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is just let this set for a few days and come back to it when it's hopefully completely dry. Okay, so it's been a couple of days now and this is pretty much completely set. So that is what the meteorites look like when they have been ground up and repressed. That's a loose term because we couldn't actually yeah, press them. Yeah, we couldn't actually. Yeah. yeah, but it looks, it's very powdery. It's yeah. very, it's still hard. smells. It yeah. has, well, there we go. I just yeah. cracked it some more. Um, it is hard and it has set. Yeah. So you could just go ahead and use it as a pressed product. So I'm not too sure if you can see that, but it looks very, very powdery. It's got a slight sheen to it, and it's almost got a purple tinge. Yep. Um, so it would be brightening, but... I can All I can fucking smell is violets. Yeah, it smells really bad. Anyway, so that's what you're paying for when you're spending $84 yep. on those little balls. This is what you're buying. All right, so conclusion of the Guerlain Meteorites. Um, I'm going to give it a big thumbs down. Yeah, I'm giving it a big fat thumbs down as well. Um, look, I know people love these, and that's perfectly fine. If you love it, if it does something wonderful for you, go ahead, love it, it's all good. But for me, just... After we broke it up and put that alcohol in there, yeah. feeling the texture of it and realizing what the ingredients were just made me go, oh, Christ, that's a lot of money to spend on Cold something flour. unimpressive. And I, it's just not something I would spend money on. No, and also future. when you look at it in this form, it, it doesn't, like the packaging's still nice. Yeah. I'll give it that. Oh, yeah. But it, it doesn't have the... I don't know, the, it's not special anymore. No. And you see it for what it is, and it's literally just... It's a violet A powder. violet powder that looks like violet, yeah. smells like violet, yeah. and has really bad ingredients, really cheap ingredients. Yeah. 
um, and it's got so much fragrance that I can't imagine it being good for or, your skin. I can't even stand the smell of it just with yeah. the packaging open. It's bad. It's bad. So this is a big, like this, I mean, I was happy that we did this video because yeah, I was too. always interested in, in them previously, like they look so nice and a lot of people say great things about them, but now this has really highlighted how fooled people can be by yeah. packaging and how the price tag and yeah. oh it's got diamond powder in it yeah um and in reality you're paying for cornstarch talc and fragrance so yeah. yeah i would never buy this again it's not great it's not good all right guys so that's it for the girl on whatever we did to it we we destroyed it i don't destroyed think it, i don't think it. we'll be able to use this i don't think either of us want, I don't to, think use I'd want to use it the no. scent turns me off a lot so this is probably one where we'll scoop the stuff out and keep, keep the packaging because the packaging, the packaging is nice. I'm yep. sure we'll find something to do with it. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, you can subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And we do them every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, they'll be up. So if you want to check out the next one and not miss it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, bye. bye.